Hey guys, welcome to the Dawn Rule 16. I am your host, Javon, and today we're out for a brand new benchmark. Today we're testing out the Evil Within for the PC. Today we're running this on my Intel Core i3-7100U with the Intel HD 620 integrated graphics. We're running with 16GB of DDR3 RAM in dual channel memory mode. And we do have a bit of a surprise for you this time around. Rather than just me testing the game, we have to normal DirectX 11. We're using the Vulkan backend to run the game today. That's right, as you can see, holy crap, we're using over 7 gigs of RAM. I did the video on this the last time running with the... Uh, DirectX 11, everything else was the same, but I used 640 by 480 to get about 30 FPS. It was going up to 36 in this area. We are using the low end config once again, as you can see why everything looks like crap, but we are running at 720p. Now, the difference here is that with Vulkan, you do get an extra few frames to run this like this. Otherwise, I don't even think this is playable at 720p without Vulkan. Now, I shouldn't have gone 720p because Vulkan can only do so much. But Vulcan does make it seem a bit more playable. The Evil Within is a, a terribly unoptimized mast. I don't think 720p, even with the uh, Vulcan backend, can help me that much. But that's why we go down to 960 by 540 I just wanted to show you guys how it ran at the 720p. It wasn't bad. It was playable at 720p all of a sudden. With the config file, I can see some people managing this. But I do believe 540p will be uh, the sweet spot. Unfortunately for me on my end specifically I have to be careful because I'll play at 720p for a little longer just for you guys because you're probably saying that hey this is this is this is doable. You're probably saying that it is playable here but there are issues that lie with me because my CPU doesn't have a boost clock. The 2.4 GHz is all I got. So after that well pain like starts blood. to become but I have tested this before lower resolutions will give you much higher frame rates than uh, what you would do with just running DirectX 11 like this is really playable I can be an extra set of eyes. We don't know what's happening here. like I told you in this same area 640 by 480 is where the game started to run properly over 30 for me which is insane that's way too damn low for a 620 but with the Vulcan, we can stay over 20 FPS even at 720p. The game looks terrible, by the way. <laughs> I didn't want to do the original because the original, it, the original I can do for. I don't even think I'll do it for the Evil Within 2. You need the extra boost, honestly. The games are just not optimized well. But it is way more playable. You don't look so great. But what we'll do, because I just wanted to show you guys that area specifically, but what we'll do, we're actually going to switch over to Kidman's story, because Kidman's story takes place outside in a forest area, which I like. We can work on that. The assignment starts in a forest area. I can work with that much better. I like that better as well. can do a lot more and show you the resolution difference. Because if I go too far down, it's going to have issues, which is a weird thing because even at 640 by 480 before, it didn't bottleneck, so maybe I can go all the way down. Hey, back then I had a graph. Why the hell don't I have a graph right now? I'm dropping the ball for you guys. I'm sorry. I should have a graph for you guys. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. Yes, I will leave the cache file as well as how to change it to Vulcan in the description down below. So you'll simply just copy and paste whatever I send there for you to download. And bada boom, bada bing. You got some extra frames in these games. It's quite nice, to be honest with you. Do you stand? I like this area especially because we're outside and look, it really does show the better performance here when we're outside. I do believe the Evil Within is a bit un less unoptimized than this is because look, at 720p, we can do 30 FPS. Where is everybody? Remember a second ago I just told you that I couldn't do 720p? It's just that area at the beginning. This is more indicative of how the game performs. I just told you I couldn't do 720p with this, but now I can. Vulcan increases it that much. Now, you probably are saying to yourself, but Jivon, you have it letterbox. I don't want it letterbox. Well, let me show you something. I'm going to disable the letterbox. 
which tanks performance greatly. You lose about four frames later when you do that. Four to five, it's crazy. But that's the point of this because with the letterbox, we're gonna drop frames. So, what I'm gonna do is drop it down to 960 by 540. My favorite resolution on this HTLC 620 doesn't normally work, doesn't usually work out for me as well these days. But you know, with this, with 960 by 540, the evil within is incredibly playable. You probably don't even need to drop it this much. And just to show you guys, in case you guys do want to play with the letterboxing, if you say, hey, I can deal with it for the extra frames, then you can get 40 FPS all day with the, without the letterbox. This is only for if you... W I would recommend 960540 as long as you don't want to play with the letterbox. Do not try to do uh, 720p. But yeah, this is Evil Vin. It runs. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Once again, don't forget, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. I'll see you guys next time. This is great. Obviously, we've got our fr cap. We've got a lot of low-end textures here, man. This looks terrible, but hey, it runs. For those who really want to play the Evil Within, I'll see you guys next time.